Hey, we are here in Hopkinton, Iowa. Is it called Hopkinton? Yeah, you didn't quite slaughter that. It's Hopkinton. <laughs> Hopkinton. It's hard. It really is hard to, well, hard to hard pronounce. To pronounce. Yeah. It's not a cat hopping, yeah. but that's how it's pronounced. Yeah. So we're under the covers here with Ryan Gibbs. We're in his shop. We are about ready to T minus 25 minutes to his big field day. This is the event in Eastern Iowa this winter. For so. Yep. Ryan uh, Ryan Farms out here. He's a dealer for us, uh, kind of represents Northeast Iowa and does a heck of a job. And so we came out to his field day to cheer him on and get some uh, free beer. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be drinking free beer tonight and we're really excited about that. But what we're even more so excited is what Ryan's doing here um, on his farm and for his customers. So. Tell us a little bit about your business and tell us about your farm. So we're farming here north of Hopkinton. Um, we've got uh, hogs, cattle, um, run 150 acres, corn, soybeans, alfalfa, uh, a little bit of cereal rye. Uh, this year we're going to get into some specialty crop stuff. Uh, a couple acres of that. Don't quite know what we're doing yet. On, we haven't decided for sure. Yep. Um, yeah, we uh, supply seed for the Iowa cover crop, um, complete turnkey. You know, seed sales, application, drill a lot of cereal rye, um, you know, supply any type of seed needed, uh, work with a lot of dairy guys, beef guys, a couple sheep and goat farmers also. So, try to cover the whole spectrum on all of it. You bet. So, when, when, when you first met, we met at a Farm Bureau event and you had a drone. You still doing drones yep. or? So I'm working pretty closely with uh, the drone industry. This year, I'm not gonna be using drones. Um, just with everything getting so busy, selling a lot more cover crop seed, livestock. Uh, my brother got updated to the bigger drone, which is the T30, which holds twice as much seed. So him and the Rantizo group out of Iowa City have got applicators all over Eastern Iowa anyways. So I'm gonna focus on my cover crop side of it and let someone else take care of the seeding side with the drone as far as that goes. So um, we're just offering it through plain aerial application. Um, I can get a drone guy in if needed and um, also to direct seeding with the grain drone. So, you are you're doing some sort of home brewing in your shop? Yeah, it's it's not quite beer, but um, the soil thinks so, it's pretty delicious. Can you drink it or you can't drink you it? You can drink it, yes. Okay. Have you ever drank out of a trick? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> so it's basically kind of like drinking out of the crick. Um, so we are working with some compost extract this year, uh, making it on the farm. Uh, we are sourcing the compost this year, um, but it is getting tested so we know what we have. Uh, we do have a bunch of, uh, a bunch of Johnson Sioux bioreactors going. So that compost will not be ready until next year. So we're sourcing some this year. Uh, basically, it's a biological product we are putting in furrow to get all the biology working and uh, you know make it communicate to release nutrients and make the soil healthier. So basically, beneficial bacteria and fungi is what it is. Bugs in a jug. Bugs in a jug. Homemade bugs in a jug. Well. Um, and then you're really active on Facebook, and so maybe people can follow your uh, progress on Facebook. And then you said you have a newly YouTube page. Yes, new YouTube page. Uh, Facebook, Gibbsfield Ag. Um, YouTube page is Gibbsfield Agriculture, spelled out. No. Um, did, did, did someone have Gibbsfield Ag taken on YouTube? No, but I wanted to keep it like, not city people don't always know what ag means. So if somebody wants to search agriculture, it pops up. You know? That's kind of my thinking, because I'm, I'm hoping to do a lot of cool stuff this year. I'm, I'm doing 60-inch corn again uh, that we're going to be grazing cattle on. We're doing a little bit of relay cropping. We're going to be roller crimping this year. Um, I'm doing um, intercropping 30-inch corn at like V3, V4, a couple of trials of that to graze livestock on. Trying a lot of different things on here. I'm limited on my acres, obviously, but we're doing a lot of cool stuff. We had a lot of success last year with the 60 inch corn and intercropping. We're gonna expand upon it this year and try new things. I got access to a roller crimper. We're gonna roll it, baby. It's yeah, gonna yeah. be fun. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're trying a lot of stuff. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. That's how we move forward uh, in this soil health conversation. Yep. So, yeah, we're excited to see what we can learn tonight. And, uh, I think you're going to have a good crowd, so. Yep. I'm hearing the diesel pickups in the background. <laughs> They're rolling in. Yep. They smell the drinks yep. from a mile away. 
Well, thanks for coming under the covers with us. Yeah. Hey, not a problem anytime. Yep.